Uh, kia ora koutou katoa. Uh, legacy number two and uh, focusing uh, this one on uh, the Hahiringatu. And I'm late because I'm in San Francisco, so just trying to align um, our time. Not San Fran, I'm in LA. Uh, Kati, so the Hahiringatu. Uh, the Hahiringatu was established by Te Koti Rikirangi, and Te Koti Rikirangi uh, was seen as a rebel in the eyes of the crown. Uh, uh, he was a leader from the Gisborne area who then became the founder and the prophet of the Ringatu faith. Ringatu meaning the raised hand. And I know in my own tribe, when we do Huye Taikie, we raise our hand. Uh, and also the Pai Marire, Rire, Rire, Ho, Pai Marire. And my understanding is the raised hand is a traditional form of how the Catholics would cross themselves at the end of the Amen. So Ringatu uh, is uh, an amalgamation of old traditions and Christianity. And Ringatu has been also a key. Uh, way of maintaining old traditions though using a mix with using a mix of uh, traditional karakia and Christian uh, karakia. But the reason why I wanted to talk about uh, the Ringatu faith as part of legacy number two is because it's through this legacy that um, through this session on legacy that we need to uh, unlearn and relearn and we all know that uh, or to common knowledge that Te Kōti was seen by the country as a rebel uh, and my own tribe uh, many many of my own tribe uh, chased him with the crown and then um, within 10 years he then became our prophet and uh, led us uh, to follow uh, his maramatanga his tikanga and in doing that, uh, we even named one of our houses uh, And so, <clears throat> I'm sharing this because what was shared in the history books in the past uh, is uh, quite different to what I was raised with. And I never knew him as a prophet, even though I knew that we chased him. Uh, Te Porer is a classic example of that. Uh, however, uh, I was always taught he was a prophet. And the more that we uh, focus in on uh, unlearning to relearn and reclaim, that'll take us to a space where uh, we'll start to correct some of the history books. And I noticed that there are things out uh, in the media at the moment. And uh, it's just a bunch of lies that we were these uh, man-eating um, savages. Yes, there was a moment in time where cannibalism was part of the culture, but it was only a moment in time, just like every other culture around the world, that's also had their moment of time when cannibalism was a key part of their culture. But more than that, uh, he was a brilliant man, a great strategist, and uh, that's enough, I think. So uh, I will try to connect in on Monday uh, from LA, uh, Katiaki, Tenakuto. Kia ora tātou.